Life is a better place if you choose to set the pace. I know that it comes with ups and downs. On a daily, we have to fight, try to live and to survive. Another day to get the drive. At spicy with thinner, we understand all your pain. You'll be fine. You'll be okay. You'll be fine. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. You'll be fine. When you hear stories of domestic violence, it is easy to conclude quickly that we have another woman beater. But this time, it is peculiar because we do have male victims of domestic violence that the society unknowingly condones. It is indeed a sad story, one that we must deal with right after this break. This is Spicer with Fina. Let's get to meet our guests and we'll be right back. At Spicy with Fina, we understand all your pain. Emmanuel Dibono. Emmanuel Dibono, also known as Kolo Man, is a stand-up comedian par excellence who hails from Isela Uku in Delta State. He is also an actor who is popular for his appearance as Prosper on Flatmates. He is also a lover of football. Deborah Ubaje Balogo is a beauty artist, CEO Job Del Z Beauty Salon, offering services in makeup and luxury affordable hairs and wigs. She is also a beauty educator who hails from Kogi State and is married with three lovely kids. At spicy with thinner, we understand. Welcome back to Spicer with Fina. As you've just met my guests, they're already seated pretty. Coloman. <laughs> <laughs> you know why they laugh now? Because it always like three times, three different seasons. So I don't invite you. When they tell me I's coming, I's coming. Boy, well, thank God you're I here. I don't believe that. <laughs> Natusha, I won't leave the past. Thank you so much for coming. You're welcome. Thank you're you. Welcome. Debbie, beautiful Debbie. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Hope it didn't take you long to do this fine makeup like this. It's even mm -mm, finer than my own mm -mm, like this. Not at all. You are you sure? <laughs> thank you so much for coming. You're all welcome, the way. Finn. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having thank me. Thank you. So I have a story. Let me just read out the story so we can start the conversation. Okay. Dear Fina, I write to you from a place of pain because my own story is quite different from the regular happenings in the society. I have been married to my wife for seven years during which we have had many arguments resulting to serious domestic violence. The bigger issue is, how do I come out to tell the world that my wife physically assaults me? Sometimes she threatens to accuse me of something I did not do and send me to jail if I try, to, if I try any nonsense, according to her. And because of our society is wired to believe women more, when it comes to domestic violence or domestic violence issues. I have been keeping my cool, but right now I am tired. I have bottled up a lot in my mind and I fear that I might explode one day and destroy both of us. I am done. I cannot continue like this. Please keep me anonymous because it is the same society that will come out and condemn me that a woman is beating me. You know, we've had a lot of stories about domestic violence, but it's against the women. Why? Because the woman is easy to run out and say, ah, see what they do me, my husband, they beat me. Yes, we've had other series of issues where the woman even dies in the marriage. But that's not the angle we want to come from now. We want to come from the angle of the man. For this man to even go as far as writing, <coughs> you don't reach a yes. You don't reach out here. So I want to really ask, what's your take on domestic violence against men? Is it really real? Like, people, you will be mad. People, they really suffer this kind of matter. <laughs> you see this topic, so he talks. I don't need to speak English. I need to be real. I better be real. Uh, when you read this story, I confirm, say, this story not for me. Are you serious? Yeah. It don't happen to you? Not it don't happen. Twice. 
There are thousands what? of men out there that are facing domestic violence. But they don't, even to their parents, they don't tell their parents. <laughs> like the mama will born you as a man, you know, if tell her. So it's like you said, we live in a society whereby most things favor the women, especially when it comes to violence. Mm. When you just hear violence, that's why you see a woman is quick to pick up a phone mm. and you see her cry, oh, yeah, my mm. because you know, say normally the society will come, so these men are stupid, those men. Men are going through a lot. Ha. Huh. I'll be victim. Are they? Twice. This is quite interesting. So, do you know up till now, nobody, if nobody say this, as you read that now, the thing, it will shock me. Uh -uh. I've never, even to my sister, my what? every, nobody. But wait, oh, hi, uh, God. This, this thing, now that we have <laughs> a first hand, at least you with your experience and day here, mm. I'll come back because I really want to ask you one or two questions in respect to that. But let me get, um, uh, Debbie's reaction to this story. Do you think the men really go through such? Yes, Fina. It does happen. And like you said, when we hear domestic violence, you know, we say like, oh, what comes through our mind is that, oh, these men, they've come again. Mm. Especially, you know that in our country, was it, let me say, two, three months ago, the case of mm. the gospel musician, yes, even more celebrities, mm. they came out saying this, 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 that. If you check comments, then we see some people coming out to say that. Do you know what they've been doing mm. to these men? So these men actually suffer, especially when these men are going older. Mm. Yes, they do. Ah. So women could be so cruel. Some even so women can even go to the extent of pretending. I, I know of one, a true life story. They used mm. to be our neighbor then, while we were growing up. When this woman deal with this man, mm. <laughs> He will pity this man. Ah, Jesus Christ. So it does happen. So when you're talking about it, I'm not surprised. Really? Yes, it does so, happen. But, but, so, okay, Koloman, for mm. you now, you said you went through it twice. Why did you allow yourself to go through it twice? It's love. Sometimes, once you, you know, once you fall into that place and... And because, and let me tell you how this operates. Because of we live in a society where the women themselves feel I'm a woman, mm. you can't raise your hand on, on me. me. You see that point? So at the point, sometimes when I see things on social media, especially most women come and say, ah, this man, they beat me, this man. You don't, you don't do that man rich here. That mm. man is not that stupid and mm. that. For every man, probably maybe relationship, though some men are stupid, I'm mm. not trying to say of course, you of understand. Course. But for you to see a man to feel carrying hand, raise against the raise woman. Her, you don't you don't push. At some point, I'm not gonna lie, I slapped my ex just once. Mm. Because you don't see there's what we call when you put you keep doing something you keep doing that thing and you mm. keep doing that thing and you keep doing that mm. even when i did mine i must tell you the truth like it's what i call reflect action action with the hospital okay let me just give you this i, I will mm, try just to a brief summary of yeah. what, what happened with the hospital oh my girlfriend see blah 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 middle of the night oh. i just say make i pick my girlfriend phone charge not charge you. <laughs> Not charge you. For yes, I did yes. Okay. So she just managed open eye. For the sick bed. For the sick bed. Drip. Ah. Their hand and everything. What are you doing with my phone? What are you doing with my I near I'm saying, not charge. I won't. Charge. If you see slap. Oh my God. And if I was expecting the slap, I for no retaliate. Mm. Because most one way they do are they expect them. So mm. I would just chest them. Say, no man. Mm. It don't happen. don't happen. So this one I was not expecting because how do I think a sick person will person go to will just even raise hand? Oh. Before you know, I return. Ah. And at this point, I realized that, oh, I don't mess up. Mm. Before you know, nose, the rush comes. Mm, to not look like you're slapping somebody like Oh, yes. Where Before you know, she ah. changed the narrative. Oh, Imana wants to kill me. She wants. Ah. So a lot of men are going through this. Hmm. I must tell you, the, I didn't tell you the truth, but it's hard. So, so you, you came out of one. <laughs> then when you now went into the second one and you were seeing signs that this thing be like that or that, why didn't you just, you know... What are you saying? Love still held you down. I ran away now. 
Oh, you didn't wait to. Why oh, would I wait? I, no, I was because I needed to build for a while. I left relationship. Okay. So I needed to build again. Okay. I still come to this. I said, ah, I still make another. Ah. And that's why you see some people will say, ah, most men, probably they don't want to get married. They don't want to. Some mm. don't go through a lot. Mm. Some will just think, oh, this marriage of the thing is not meant for me. This girlfriend of the thing is not meant for me. Mm. Let me just be. Do you get me? Mm. Some women, I'm not trying to say some men are not evil. Some are evil. But most men, men. out there are going through a lot. So what do you think the society, what role do you think the society plays in terms of, you know, making the men not being able to come out to say what they are going to do? Do you think because of um, the society will think they are weak? Do you think, let me just hear what you think the society, how the society contributes negatively. You, you, to you, you said it off, you know. They probably I would think they are weak. I know that men they always want to be. Mm. And if men won't come out to say my wife is beating me, no man will want to come out and say so. Mm. Just like he said, a lot of men are going through it, but no one will want to come out to say so. But probably if this is happening, me I would mm. just advise the man to give a break, mm. work out gently. And give a break in that relationship. Ah, that relationship. Um, Coloma, you know you, you've been through it. What are the various um, types of or forms of um, domestic violence? You know, they, they, they are, there might be different types that you experienced. Okay. Do you know that domestic violence sometimes may not really have to be you physical? Slapping. You're right. Do you get me? You can like most of the ones, despite the fact that I know that face slap. Most of the ones who are face now. Holding me like mm. strangling me mm. and moving me around. Oh, wait, that that, that guy must be very strong. <laughs> and you know, and you know, as a man, you go your day, mm. maybe they carry you. Yeah. Because you know, so once you react, you mm. feel kill that person. Yeah. Of course. Do you yeah. get me? So yeah. I face that a lot. Mm. Like you strangle me, you are not going out, you are not this. You, uh, me, I'm even okay with the insult. Insult me. Like, right. mm. But don't come close to me. Mm. Once you don't take that action by coming close, close. to me, that means you don't turn the real mm. domestic of violence. Course. Yeah. It's, it's actually an assault. <laughs> so, yes. so that's just it. Mm. Uh, why some men can't face, you, there are some men that find it very difficult to face insult. Maybe you come insult their parents, mm. their family, their this. They can't take it. You're right. Do you get me? Mm. So it's also for, another form of it's another violence. form of violence. You're right. You understand? You're right. So in general, men are dying. I must tell you the truth. Mm. This domestic violence and some way people need to be talk, especially talk for this about... country. We need to be hit on them, especially on men, because men know the people. Because you know, I, I I see a couple of videos on social media where some you know abroad, you know, in some countries, the the law favors the women. You go yeah. see person where man carry from Nigeria go abroad. Yes. <laughs> Make her person. To send you out of your house. You go see that conference. <laughs> and they tell, and every now and then I see that video, I say, God, let and, me not happen to anybody I know. Because this is sheer wickedness. A lot of women ride on this. On that. So they feel men now we now. So uh, they, they try to use it well. Well, and it's sad. <laughs> it's sad. No, no, no. Something has to be has to, something has to be done. It's just sad. <laughs> At the end of the day, the house was built with my mom. You will not come? No, now. How about? That's, 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 that's really not it at all. <laughs> that's, 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 in fact, that's wickedness. Well, because here, of course, now you walk my house, say it happen. That's why these are sims. People are not being chased out of their house in Nigeria. It's yes. Crazy. And th yes, yes, that's why. That's why. I think so. Well, anyway, let's go on a quick break. Um, we have to go on a quick break, and when we come back, we'll continue on this conversation. We'll be right back. A spicy with Fina, we understand all the pain. Welcome back to Six Spice with Fina, and we've been having a very interesting conversation as regards to domestic violence against men. So, um, Debbie, I, you off camera, you were saying something about um, some of the men now that they are a bit older. You know, their wives, maybe when they were younger, they treated her badly. Telling so now they are paying them back in their own So let me hear more of that, because that's story you let say sweet more. Of course, thank you, Fina. Like we said, men mm. suffer domestic violence. Mm. Like he said, he doesn't want to come out to see. Who wants to listen? Mm. Even to even to as a, a sister. Mm. Who not want to believe that, ah, my brother, your mm. wife, they beat you. Mm. You sure? 
Oh, we listen to that story. Yeah. So, like I said, the older this man gets, the more they suffer this thing. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. So men will be like, ah, I'm hearing this. I don't want okay, go out of the marriage because this man is very, you know, is killing you. Why not go out of why not pack out of the marriage? So I'll be like, you know, our normal African mm -hmm. romance now. I want to stay because of my children. It's mm -hmm. a lie. Not some just this, children. I'm telling you. They are targeting me from. I'm telling you. Mm. Some, some of these men they are keeping this. They are. Ah, I'm in there. Mm. You will meet me there. Mm. Sure, sure, you know. Mm. And when they may be like, I have one, a, a true life story going on now that. Even when I see them, I'll be like, ah, this man is going through a lot. You know what the man is doing to that man? Mm. She waited. Now the children, some of the children are in abroad. Mm. Ones are in Nigeria, home. you know, they are far distance to, to them. It's just Baba and the Mama. Mm. Mm. Um, one of um, I think their house help. Okay. You see what this woman does to Baba. And when you ask questions, ah, why is uh, Master so and so doing this to Baba? Baba. Like, ah, hey, Mama tell you I'm not skinny. When Baba was younger, ah, what he did to me, ah, he won't allow me go out. He won't oh. drop money. We'll be carrying girls up and down. Oh. I'll be the one taking care of my children. It is now. It is my turn now to shine. To so pay him. They back. Will, I'm telling you, even to cook That's for Baba. That's another form of I'm domestic violence. Yes. Because, yes. yes Baba, has Baba, done, Baba uh, of seventy-five going mm. to eighty. Baba cannot cook by mm. himself. Ah, oh, that's sad. So let's look mm. at what the society can, or rather, what can be put into place to protect the interests of the men. Yes, there are so many NGOs for the women. Domestic violence and mm. assault. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. Do you, what do you read, rather, you know, suggest to say, ah, Fina, this thing, I think government should look into this, look into that to protect the men? First of all, government needs to come in because I feel they don't care about the men, basically. So the attention is being given to the women. The women, okay. You understand? Mm. So, but if they don't come into it, it will be very difficult for we, the men, you understand? So yeah. if, if, they can help, like I don't know, maybe NGO or something. Yes, create a, a an NGO that can look it's into this. The so the way they are looking for the women as well, they should have the one for the men as men well. As I believe well. that's going to help us. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What do you think, Debbie? Same here. Mm. Government needs to look into it. And if there are NGOs that are maybe probably catering for the needs of the men, please kindly let us know because a lot of men are actually going Dying. through a lot. So let's look at the story now. The woman, the man said he is tired. And we've had scenarios whereby some men, even abroad, I saw a video of a man who had to kill his wife. And while he was shooting her, he was saying, now that you are dead, come and call her house now. Come and fight, come and, because mm -hmm. what happened was there was issues and she successfully got him thrown out of the house. House he built, house he bought by himself. Mm -hmm. So some as time goes by, the guy came back to revenge. Like mm. you took everything from me, even after I brought you all the way from Nigeria and made you somebody. Mm. I think they even sent her to nursing school or something. Oh and then she became somebody. And then Horrible. you realize the guy is having, you know, and then you threw him, threw him out of the house. Mm. So that video, I couldn't even watch it because then my husband showed me. I was like, no, 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 no I'm not saying this. <laughs> he was, he would shoot at her and say, come now, come and drag house with me now. Now that you are dead, come and drag. He kept on shooting, kept on shooting. Don't mind all that. Like, Why? Because he was pouring out the pain, yeah. the anger, the anguish. Hmm. It's painful. So let's look at this because now this woman thinks she's in charge. Hmm. And you're pushing this man. You are pushing him. You are pushing him. <laughs> so looking at the story now, the man said he's tired. For him to even come out to say he wants to see if we can, he can get help so as not to, you know, get to the extreme. But the same woman is saying, do nonsense now, I'll frame you up. Because yeah. some women are fond of doing that. And at the end of the day, when people hear it, they will say, ah, no, it's the woman. It's the man that wanted to do this to the woman. I want us to react to these stories. And I want us to also use the opportunity to give our final words to this man. Let me start with you, Debbie. What do you think this man should do? Oh, I want to advise him to stay in that marriage. Mm. Yes, I want... <laughs> because when that woman pushed him and it gets here, his reaction might revenge be revenge will be bad. Mm. And the law won't listen after you've killed or murdered someone and say, probably she wants to take my property, she's been, no, what is the evidence? So just try, get some evidence, and probably if you can walk out gently, you should just, you should just do that. Mm. I want to advise him to well, keep you know, staying in that you know, marriage. For a man to walk out, it's not the same as a woman walking out. Though. 
a woman can just walk out of a marriage even though the man might be possessive but when a woman becomes possessive when a woman is obsessed hmm? <laughs> what if that a, it was a, a hell has no um, fury to the scorn of a woman I've heard it say Buddha drama like woman a woman can be really really for such person if really she wants him to go like I said he should report and then have some evidence against her but that also before is even taking me to something else why dating I think you should spot these things out people pretend a lot in now how long would they pretend? like I said many women pretend you don't know how long would they like now, just like men to do things but now he chose to walk out of those of two course. relationships. Why are you not close and marry one of them? Now when they want to say, I'll be like, he, he has dated two women, and then you know, they are not staying. And your will say, the, the king they use in flogging, uh, the first one is under the bed waiting for the third one. That's what they name them. Mm. But do you know what these men go through? I love this topic a lot. Mm. Can I come in? Please come in. Okay, the, the truth is, like what she said, she said mm. people pretend a lot. Why some? You see this thing they call love. Hi. You see love. Hey. Nobody talks in love. No, they do. It applies to the same thing as a woman. You don't say this man, they beat you. Mm. You don't even, you just feel, sometimes the beating they sweet them. Yeah. How <laughs> beating what they say? Oh, some people they start saying. No, I'm telling you the <laughs> truth. Yeah. Really? Oh, oh, you will not understand. The drama and everything, like you just feel. After we don't face this drama again, we now can't fight for oh it, come, come back Only again. Concern. Now you'll be looking forward to when we go for it again because oh my God. Yeah, I'm everybody. telling you the truth. It's crazy that's now. Where, this is mad that, that's, that's what I'm telling you. That's where love comes in. Like in oh my, my own situation, now God saved me. Oh like I was even ready to say no could marry. Like I was ah. okay. Like no jokes. I know that. If I marry this guy, I'm not saying I hell out of it, but I was moved to say oh, nothing they have for love. So sometimes mm. a lot of people they see him, mm. but they will just want to go into go it like into that. It. Ah, <laughs> it's <laughs> love, man. I'm true. When you don't grab it like this, eh, it becomes hard. So oh, that's just it. Don't help us. Don't help us. Oh my God. <laughs> so are you are you done giving her your giving the man your final words? Yes. You should just walk away. You should just walk away. Uh, okay. Yeah, I will tell. I will tell him as well to please walk away. What about you know the children? Go see. <laughs> Because if, if the man dies, the children live on. Ah. See, one thing you need to do, uh -huh. you have to you have to secure yourself first. Mm. Because whoever dies, mm. life goes on. Goes on. I don't know mm. how tough that woman <laughs> is on. Mm. I don't know how tough that woman is on that man. Mm. But if that I've seen a man that just picked up, not not he doesn't even need any luggage. Mm. He just picked up his even not even car. You mm. can just walk away. Ah. Let me buy something downstairs. You don't work out. You don't work out. Go here, Kwana. Like, won't you save your life? I don't know how tough that woman is. <laughs> but if nah, that it, woman is as tough as clean the woman, during dating, you, eh, nah. I fix a lot of things. Personally, during dating, I fix a lot of things. Yeah, see, it's like not, if not I know every, I don't want person will go beat me. Not be everybody. I don't not be everybody. Hey, you know, so we will think, you know, you will change. See, you will yeah. change. You will change. It's there. Show you. So you enter. <laughs> Like he said, it's true. Yes, now like you just laugh in small. Yeah, a small in a man, the man even a life for herself. It's just excuses. small. It doesn't mean it's uh, blessing that the way I take talk to them, then make can ah. slap me. No you don't understand. Job. You I just guess, I guess somebody they say the wife they go jack and from club. Ah. Uh -uh. Oh my god. You will not understand what I'm telling you. Uh, Once in your years, the man the club, like you don't move. The man, the woman, no care. This, this story just, happen. just, just take me back. I remember, I remember <laughs> a, a, a guy. Then while, while we are growing up, mm. used to be my uncle's friend, area friend. Okay. You know when this man is coming, everybody will be like, ah, you know this tough guy in the area. You know he have boys, mm. he have this. But I wonder, this topic now just scratch me. But I wonder, mm. because sometimes when you see that man, with his girlfriend, then they call that lady Ada. Ah, Ada is there. No matter what you want to say to that man, <laughs> then mm. you, you will not listen. Mm. Ada has the final say. And they're not married. Ah. They were still dating. I'm so, telling you. See, my uncle, my uncle will be telling me that ah, if Ada is there, I won't listen. After you go to the, the message I sent, you just leave him. Ada have the final say, as in control. Mm. Sit, stand up. Wow. So imagine what that marriage will be. Mm. <laughs> I see stand up. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> now see stand up for like seriously. I think that is too long. Oh, yeah, lo is it long? Abi? It's long. Because looking at the man, that cannot beat that man. Yes, now. He's oh, a guy some, that some I people, think he work as, as a bouncer stressing. then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some people very tough guy. Some people will say, ah, the woman don't use the drill like. It's, the it's man is just the is man no drivers crazy. Crazy. like mm. you are just so madly in love with this mm. person and you don't even if you ask yourself question you don't know why you don't know why <laughs> Chai. Chai. so you are advising the man to, to yes he should leave it's just the the energy is because at some point the head part like what she said she said the head part no go good mm. so why don't you leave just ah. leave because the head part na na a big problem. Yeah, I should think of a way of living so that. But in the course of your own um, relationship, do you work like most times when you notice a while I won't happen? While mm. do you just work out of that place for that time being? Make it be calm down. Are you saying? I want to work out in the lockdown. Jesus. Like you are not going to anywhere. Uh -huh. for. So what yeah, I do that's, is that's really what bad. I do is I just I just keep calm, mm. just dramatize, do everything, do blah 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 blah. So my own is I have to keep calm because if I choose to mm, reply, it more it, hotter. you mm. understand me. So I just keep calm after she don't display and display, display. My own is make I'll be praying in my mind. Mm. Let her calm down. Mm. Okay, once she's calm, oh, God. I will just look for. I will now do this forming smile. Sorry, I'm sorry. Mm. You know. Oh my God! No, you're just, just suffering inside. Yes, I will just. No men that I will can just, take yeah, this. Yeah, I will just take. But once I come out, mm. oh my God. And if I go outside, second day, like day, 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 just, where are you? It's, so it's a lot of drama. But I think, I think, <laughs> going back to that, eh, mm -hmm. you guys were not married. Mm -hmm. eh? That kind of people, you know, they cry them. Come. I know some girlfriend people can't do weekend for your house. But I can't see you. Tell say you're busy. Maybe you know they call all the time. But if you don't call all the time, you know, going to know your movement. No answer. Because she's choking now. <laughs> this type of all choking. If you can't marry, if you can't marry and call, what you going to do? Well, this whole thing is very annoying. Like, I, I feel so pained. I just wish women would learn to, you know, you know, learn to adjust their emotions. Some people, they, 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 in fact, their emotions is always overboard. Thank you so much, guys. I really, I really appreciate you all for coming. The whole thing don't make my sleep weak. Now. It's not fair. Of course. What you will, what you know that if someone do it to you, don't, don't do it to someone else. That's just the I will really beg that. our government, like they need to come, like seriously into this. Into this. Like it go, it go help the men to feel at least speak out. Exactly. You understand? Because if yes. they don't come into it, mm. a lot of a lot of damage they happen. Apple. I must tell you the truth. Yes. So if they can see into this thing and say, okay, this is it, oh, let's even hear. Sometimes let's hear, let's from, hear the from the men. You go see a lot of men they come outside. They will come outside and talk. Shame, shame, no good day. Yes. Yeah. You don't understand me yeah. because they, yeah. they look at say shame. How do I come outside? How do I, how do I tell this person? How do I do My this? wife is beating me. My wife. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate you all, you both for coming on the show. I have um a gift for you. I feel uh -huh. I feel real down right now because <laughs> like you. imagine my brother, woman, as in the man, as in <laughs> hey. Anyway, man, not talk anything. Here you go. That's for you. Thank you so oh. much for coming and spicy with Fina. Thank you. <laughs> Debbie, this for you. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much, Fina. Beautiful. Thank you. We've come to the end of today's episode of Spicy with Fina. I feel so um I feel so um my spirit is a bit down because really the topic we discussed today is a peculiar one indeed. If you're a man, man out there and you're going through any form of domestic violence, please try to speak up, talk to your friends. Until we get the government to look into it and get maybe probably um, an NGO or anything to look into the needs of the men in that regard, please don't take any drastic decision, I beg you. Just try. Talk to your friends about it or take a walk, leave and go and rearrange your life and yourself. And if you're a man, man out there and you're going through any form of domestic violence or any form of abuse, please kindly call the numbers on the screen and let's see how we can, you know, help you. Please, I really feel really, really bad about this, but I trust God to help us. And remember that God is still the ultimate. He's the only one that oversees the affairs of men. Do not disregard him, please. 
Until I come your way again next week with another interesting episode of Spicy with Fina. I have to go now. Have a blessed day. You'll be okay. You'll be fine. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Spicy with Fina is a talk show that addresses life issues. Free to share with us. Okay.